Troy Aikman, the Hall of Famer. Yeah. We are so happy to have you here. Um, first of all, you've been here a lot, right? But your impressions of this year being back in Augusta. Well, it's you know, I've had the, the pleasure of coming quite a few years. It's, it's amazing. They, they do such a tremendous job. I mean, if you haven't been, and certainly a bucket list item for for so many people, but they just know how to run it. They take care of the, the patrons that come, and uh, this year's fantastic. It's a quick trip for me, and it didn't look like initially on the weather forecast we were going to get much golf today, and it's turned out to be an amazing afternoon. So. Only in Augusta would there be thunderstorms and that whole yeah. conversation, and then it's absolutely gorgeous yeah. now. It's like it never even happened. we got a dragonfly yeah. visiting the set. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. name him later. Um, so when, when you've had the opportunity to play here, what has that been like for you? Uh, pretty surreal. I, I, I wish I could say that I've played well when I've played it. Uh, it's not been the case, but uh, you know, I've been one of the fortunate ones that I've been able to come back and, and, and play the course. And uh, it's probably for those that are watching it on TV that have never been out here. Uh, it's one. It's just such a massive property to begin yeah. with. But uh, the greens, you just can't appreciate the undulation of these greens until you get out there yourself or you see them in person. And they say it all the time on the broadcast, but if you're not on the right spot, uh, it, it, you, there's no way you're going to two putt some of these greens. So it's quite a challenge once you, once you get on the green. Many of these guys are up for the challenge. One of them is a Dallas native and Scotty Scheffler. What's impressed you about Scotty's play in the last maybe three years? Even? Yeah, just just his steadiness, uh, really. I mean, I, I've admired uh, just the way he approaches the game and the way he carries himself. You know, he just never seems to get too rattled. I've not had an opportunity to, to meet Scotty. We've got some mutual friends, but to be able to hear him talk about where golf places in his life, he seems to have his, his life in perspective and the things that he's been able to do on the golf course has been tremendous. So I'm I'm a big fan of his. I'm a big fan of Jordan Spieth and you know all the Dallas guys and, and those are the ones that I'm typically pulling for. Yeah, I bet we'll see Troy following those guys today as yes, you go around. Absolutely. <laughs> That'll be part of the plan. Yeah. So you just got fitted for new clubs. I did. I sure did. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. What, what, what's the conversation around that and, and maybe getting back to the game of golf? A well, more? I uh, I used to play a lot of golf. When I retired from football, uh, I really was obsessed with the game. I, I took the competitiveness that I'd just given up by playing onto the golf course, and I was able to get down to a three handicap. But I had Ooh. young daughters. And then they hit an age uh, where their activities took me away from the golf course and I wasn't able to play as much as I had been playing and my game my game suffered as a result. And so I just got increasingly worse as the years went along that I gave it up. I, I quit playing Laura for eight years and uh, just picked it up just starting to pick it up and I got fitted for new clubs. You're right. Callaway was kind enough to take care of me and I, I don't even know why I got fitted because <laughs> I couldn't repeat the same swing two times in a row to oh, even no. get but I do do have new clubs. I, it won't be because of the equipment. Uh, I get out, you know, Joe Buck is a terrific player. Yeah. Scotty Ackles, our producer there on Monday Night Football, he's a scratch golfer. And, yeah. you know, at ESPN, there's a lot of people that play golf. You know, at, where I came from, there weren't a lot of golfers. Ah. And so now I feel like if I'm going to keep up with everybody and, and have some relationships, uh, I, I need to get on the golf course. I mean, I don't know what that says about all of us. We got all these golfers here. It says you're lazy, is what yeah. it says. <laughs> I, I didn't say it, you did. You know, it, it is interesting, though, because. I would say in in who you are and, and the highest of high levels that you played when it comes to football, you're not really accustomed to a game that would be maybe not come as easy to you. Yeah. So I imagine the frustration's a real thing for you. No doubt. Uh, you know, I'm I'm if I'm not competitive, then I really don't want to do it. And right. it's and it's why I it's why I quit, quite <laughs> honestly. And and you know they talk about as some people age, they get the yips on the on the greens. Mm. I had the yips on the tee box. I, mean, I, just, <laughs> I just knew I was not going to put a ball in play. And when and when you have that kind of approach, you're not mm. going to put a ball in play. So I was laying three every time out in the fairway. <laughs> And it's and it's hard to score when you're when you're doing that. Oh my goodness! I bet there's a lot of you at home that can really relate to this right now. I was the perfect guy that uh, I like to I like to gamble uh, on the course. I you know a little bit. I'm yeah. not some crazy gambler, but uh, so a, a guy who likes to gamble that's not very good is is a, a guy that most everyone wants in their foursome. Sign Troy up for your yeah. foursome out I'm there. I'm available. So. <laughs> now something that. You probably would never put out, but I, I do want to give you some credit for this. You just got nominated for a sports Emmy for Monday Night Football. What does it mean to you to, to see your name recognized, but for something that you care so much about? Yeah. I've seen 
firsthand the work that you put in to your preparation and to call the games at the highest level. It's really special to see you recognized for that. Thank you. Yeah, it, it means a lot. I mean, to be nominated means a lot. I've been nominated uh, quite a few times. I feel like Susan Lucci, you know, that I've been invited. <laughs> I've been nominated a lot, but, you know, haven't haven't won anything. So um, this is uh, it's an honor. Uh, it, it is something that that does mean a lot because uh, if you you know like we were talking about with golf or anything else when you're playing football you know you want to go win the Super Bowl and, and right. when you're broadcasting then uh, I think the highest acclaim you could get is to, to win an Emmy so uh, that's that's been elusive but uh, you know who knows maybe one day but uh, I, I've really enjoyed the career and, and my second career with broadcasting I, I've you know like like everything in life, it's about the people you work with, and you got to have a good team. And, and I've always had a good team, and I and I do now. And you're a part of that as as well. I, I've got a good team at ESPN, and I'm really lucky. Yeah, it's an honor to be part of your team, Troy. And yeah. we appreciate you joining us here Absolutely. on Welcome to the Thank Masters. You. We will let you free, so you can go get back to this beautiful course and go okay. see some of your guys out there. But Great. thanks again for joining us Thank here. Thank you.